President Mwai Kibaki made his way to the Nyayo National Stadium to officiate at the 49th Jamhuri Day celebrations, the 10th and the last Jamhuri Day for him as the country's head of state and government as he prepares to retreat to Odaya on retirement in compliance with the constitution. The president, who in his maiden Jamhuri Day speech in 2003, promised to turn around the country's fortunes, reflected on the progress made so far and expressed satisfaction with the strides made 10 years on. Now, wale wanaosema asante, waseme, wale ambao hawana la kusema, wasiseme chochote. Kwa sababu hata kama husemi, yale tumefanya ya najulikana, Na inajulikana na kila mtu, hata mtoto gani. Kwa hivyo, hatuna haja ya kupembeleza nyinyi au ye yote. Hakuna haja. The seal has been affixed and it is presented to His Excellency the President. The president termed the promulgation of the constitution in 2010 as a key highlight of his presidency and a memorable moment after decades of deadlock in crafting the country's supreme law. This constitution has paved way for devolution. As Kenyans enjoy the freedoms enshrined in the constitution, I urge them to respect the rule of law, as this is the foundation of our current and future development. On the economic front, Kibaki enumerated the strides made by his government, including a revival of the economy from a negative performance to a projected growth of 5% this year. During his term, the president said poverty levels had reduced from 56% to 46% and food security levels also improved. This he attributed to increased revenue allocation from below 150 billion shillings in 2002 to over 750 billion shillings annually. We are now able to fund over 95% of our government budget from local sources. This economic independence is a key achievement that Kenyans should be very proud of. On infrastructure development, the president pointed out that his government had made deliberate efforts to construct, expand and rehabilitate the road network revamp the railway network and modernize the country's airports as a way of ensuring effective movement of people and goods to grow the economy. As a nation, we can confidently say that the foundation to move Kenya into a middle-income country by 2030 has been firmly laid. The journey towards the transformation of our country is on course. Security has been a major challenge during his tenure tenure. The president acknowledged that the security threat posed internally and externally by the Al-Shabaab elements had emboldened the government's decision to deploy the Kenya Defense Forces to pursue the militants right into Somalia, an excursion that had severe economic and security consequences locally. As the Commander-in-Chief, I wish to assure Kenyans that the government will deal decisively with any person or group engaging in crime activities. We will not let a few individuals distract our nation from the goal of living in a peaceful and a harmonious environment. 
also viewed as a blow to his tenure tenure as president, is the bloody post-election violence that followed his contested re-election for a second term in December 2007 polls and for which four Kenyans, including two who are seeking to succeed him, are to be arraigned at the International Criminal Court to face crimes against humanity charges just around the same time the president will be handing over power. Kibaki, however, steered clear of this matter in his last address to the country on a national holiday. And as the curtains come down on his 10-year stint at State House, the race to succeed him has intensified. Though Kibaki steered clear of the ranging succession politics, he outlined the qualities that Kenyans must look out for while picking the man or woman he will hand over to after the March 4, 2013 presidential election. Kenyans should therefore elect honest, visionary, hard-working leaders <coughs> who have the concerns of Kenya at heart in the next general election. With just six days to the close of the voter registration exercise, ahead of the country's first general election under the new constitution, the president yet again reminded Kenyans of the importance of booking a date with the ballot by registering as voters. President Mwai Kibaki exits the stage after 10 years at the helm and he does so believing that he has done a good job and it's up to Kenyans to judge what he has been able to do in that period. Attention now shifts to the man or woman who will replace him at the helm during the March 4th, 2013 general election. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9 at the Nyao National Stadium, Nairobi.